electron energy states right so this is the energy increasing order right energy increasing order so this is also a reason why we should write regularly to 1s2 then 2s2 then 2p6 then 3s2 3p6 like this right so this is the state of energy right so if it is 1s2 it has certain energy right so that is some low level energy right so if you see the energy is increasing in this way right so this is one orbit and when it is go to the second orbit energy is little bit high right energy is little bit high so actually s level energy is lower than the p level energy right so we will write s first and then we will go for the p right so this is your main shell k right k main shell that is first orbit right k that is first orbit l main shell second orbit right m main shell third orbit right n main shell fourth orbit see n is equal to 4 that is n that is fourth orbit n is equal to 3 that is m that is third orbit right so this is the ascending order of the energy right ascending order of the energy so while filling these electrons should we start from bottom and keep on going to the top of the energy level right so first we will finish with uh, fix with 1s2 then 2s2 then 2p6 then 3s2 then 3p6 it will be going like this so the why sir uh, 3s 3p 3d why sir 3 the uh, 4s come like that okay this is the question i was expecting fine right so when we are filling in the table right table in the sense the uh, periodic table right when we are filling in the periodic table these atoms will fall in the order of energy right so when we are uh, talking about the energy until this level you all are fine right so according to what i taught so far 1s 2s then 2p 3s 3p is there but what you will expect is 3d should come here right then only 4s should come so the case is not like that really the 4s have lesser energy than the 3d okay 4s have lesser energy than 3d mm -hmm. so while filling what will happen we will fill 4s first and then only we will go for 4 3d right so we will fix like 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p then we will fix 4s and then we will go for 3d this is because the energy right so each energy level has its own energy right so in that sense 4s energy is lesser than the 3d energy so there are several factors for that there are several effects like uh shielding effect screening effect and there are so many effects so if i talk about that then that will go deep into chemistry so what i am simply saying is energy level difference is the reason for this one so this is the reason why we put this 4s ahead of this 3d right and next thing why do we have these um, lines so this line in each line there can be two electrons stay right so if you think about a bike right in bike two usually two people can sit right usually in a bike two people can sit so like this in this electrons also in each this dash only two electrons can stay right so that i have in the next cell i think right so if one electron fill in this way right the other electrons we put it in the opposite way because we call it as spin right so electrons i told you they have the particle and wave nature so wave nature in the sense they will be keep on rotating like this right so while rotating like this they will automatically rotate them also so like our uh, earth rotating itself and rounding the sun right so electrons also they rotate themselves and rotate in the 
revolving the orbit, right? So this is what the magnetic property coming from. If one electron rotate in the clockwise direction, the other electron in the same orbit will rotate in the anti-clockwise direction, right? So they are a pair, right? Pair. If it is s electrons, then we will have two, right? Maximum two. If it is p, then we have one, two, three, four, five. Six, right? So P orbit we have six. I will take the periodic table, right? So you see this one, right? You see this one, just so there is a three P and then there's a four S, then three D, right? You have this one in mind. We'll see here. So here we have one S. So this is first orbital, right? So I have one S, right? Then I have the next orbital. So this is one and only s is there here i have the second orbit right there i have two s and p right then i have the third orbit right so this is our third orbit so according to what i say third orbit must have s and p and D, right? I told you now, first orbit is S, maximum 2. Second orbit S and B, maximum 8, that is 2 and 6. So, first orbit 2, second orbit 2 and 6. Third orbit 2 and 6. And there is a D, that is 10. So, that is totally 18. 10 plus 6 is 16 plus 2, 18, right? But if you see in this periodic table, right, in this periodic table, so first orbit two, right? One, two, two elements are there. That is fine. Second orbit, there must be two plus six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is also fine. I have eight. In the third orbit, I must have two plus six is eight plus ten. How much? Eighteen. If I see here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have only eight. So I have only this 8 is there. So now my question is, what to happen to that this 10? So there must be 18 according to our formula. But in the periodic table only 8 is there. So what happened to this 10? Right, so what actually happened is, this 10 which are supposed to be here in this region, right, they are here, right? So these are these 10 elements. Ten. They are supposed to be in this region, right? But they are here. Why? Because is, if you see, that's what I was talking about the uh, energy di diagram, right? So if you see, so you see this one, right? So these elements are those 10 elements which are to be here, right? So if you now remember about this energy diagram, right? So there must be 1s2, right? I am talking about the ascending order, right? 1s2, then 2s2, right? Then 2p6, then 3s2, then 3p6. Then what was there in the energy diagram? For us. Four S, right? Four S two. Then after this, three D ten. Okay. Right. So now we will see. So one S two, one S two, right? This is fine. Then I have two S two. So two S two is second orbit, two electrons. That is also fine. Then I have two P six. So one S two, two S two is over. Two P one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This 2p6 is also fine. I have. Then I must have 3s2, right? So 3s2 is here. That is also fine. Then I must have 3p6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? 3p6 also. I have fine. Then I have 4s2, right? 
I have four S two. One, two, three, four. So this is fourth orbit. I have two electrons. Then four S two part is fine. After that, it is coming to three D ten, right? So that is the three D ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is how this periodic table is actually written, right? Periodic table is written based on the energy of the elements, right? So if you see, this is the ascending order of the energy. So as I told you, I was coming across one by one. So after three p six, then we have four s two, then it is coming to three d ten, right? So this is the reason why we don't have this ten elements here. If we have it here, then this should come after three s two. We must have three d ten. Then we should have three p six, isn't it? So this is your third orbit. So for these two elements, we will write three s two. Right, and if I put this, if uh, they are here in this region, then there is three d ten. Then for these things, I will write three p six. Right, three p six. But according to our energy level, it should come like this. Right. S P B and F. So if I write this like this, then S is there, then D is coming, then B is coming. So S D P. So this basic formula is being violated, right? So this is the reason why we don't have these three D elements here, but we have these elements here, right? So this is the reason why this. 4s is coming ahead of 3d due to the energy arrangement we arrange this periodic table and due to this arrangement only these elements are coming ahead so this is how these electrons will be filled right so one arrow we will put one side and the other arrow we will put in the opposite side because to denote the opposite spin of the uh, electrons right opposite spin in the sense i already told so if one electron is rotating in the clockwise direction the other electron would be rotating in the anti clockwise right so these two will fix in this uh, particular line right so this is common for all right so in each and every line there can be maximum of Two electrons, right? Maximum of two electrons. So if one orbit is filled, then you have to go for the next orbital. So if one s you fill with two electrons, then you may have to go to the next level. Two s one electron, two s another electron. And also while filling, right? If you see this d, right? If you see this d orbital, only one s they are in the opposite direction, but all these four are in the same direction why can't we denote like this one this way one this way one this way one this way like this so rotary two three four five six so maybe in like three lines we can denote this like six one two three four five six so why don't we denote like this but why should we denote like this what's the reason Right, so this is the nature of the electrons. Right, so when they fill in an orbit, right, usually they take uh, less often. So you see, so if you are going to somewhere, right, a new place, you will be happy if there is no opponent. Right, if there is, uh, what would you like if you in a tournament, whether going in a buy or to fight with another team and go which one do you prefer 
if it's a knockout tournament right getting a buy and going is one way fight in the first round and going to the second round is another way which way you prefer buy buy right directly yeah directly going is the preference way so that's a nature so electrons is also going according to that nature so if they are coming to a this single line and staying they are more than happy because there are no opposite spin right so at the start what would they do they will come and fill directly the empty these sub orbitals right so if all five are filled then the sixth electron which is coming from somewhere does not have any place to stay so it has to adjust with the already available electron right so then that would be the less preferred path right so this is the region why it is filled in this way and not in this way right if it is in this way there is an electron then another electron is coming and it need to fill like this if there is a vacant orbitals then why is it going to the share with this electron it will not go right so that will go to the empty orbitals once the empty orbitals are finished then after that the coming electrons they do not have a place to stay then anyhow they need to stay with the other electrons right so this is why the empty shells are get filled first and then there would be next electron would be come and sharing right so this is a reason why we don't have in such a way but why we have in this way right and here right so if we that is iron so we are talking about the atomic number right electron configuration 1s2 that is here right then 2s2 2p6 2s2 2p6 that is also fine right then i have 3s2 3p6 right 3s2 3p6 that is also fine that is 8 right here also 8 here we have 2 right and then it has 4s2 and 3d 10 right so 4s2 and 3d 10 they are in the next available orbit so that is why they are valence electrons so these electrons are going to design about the properties of this fe right so these electrons they will not have any impact on that about the deciding the properties but these two valence electron cells they will determine the properties right so this is why we need to see the number of and uh, where are they staying the valence electrons right so they are the reason for most of the properties right so this is simple example for fp right so what i am saying now is very important there are two special cases right two special cases atomic number 24 probably it must be chromium and atomic number 29 uh, i hope that one would be copper right so if it is 24 right 2 plus 2 plus 6 is 10 2 plus 6 is 18, right? This 2. So up to this region, it is okay. So problem is coming after this. So they are using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Up to this 18, it is okay, right? So there are how many electrons? Totally six electrons are there. so according to what we should write we will write so six electrons we need to write oh, because already 18 is done right so up to this one it is written i am talking about 24 now huh? i'm talking about 24 so now i have to write what 4s2 that is our usual practice right so that is 18 plus 220 then 3d Four, right? So eighteen plus two twenty, twenty plus four, twenty-four. Okay, right. But, right. 
this 24 and this 29 are very special cases while writing this configuration. What they would do is, so 3D form means we have this electron, this electron, this one and this one, right? Four electrons we have. But here we have two electrons. So what this electron will do is, it will jump to this empty space, right? Due to the energy, it will jump to this space. So the 24, we will not write it as 4s2, 3d4, but we will write 4s1, 3d5, right? So if this electron jump here, we will not have one electron here. So that is 4s1. And if it is jumping here, then we have already four. This one is five, right? So this stage we will say as semi-filled stage, right? So this is a special case, right? So there's an empty space, right? This electron would not like to be still here. So what will it do? It will jump to that empty space. So in writing, we will not write it as 4s2, 3d4, but we will write it as 4s1, 3d5, right? So this 24 is a special case. Similarly, the 29, right? 29 also, there's a special case. So in 29, after this 18, we will fill this two and that is 20, then we here we will have 9, right? 18 plus 220, we have excess of 9, so we will write it as. So I have like 5 shells. So I will fill like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight nine right so this 3d orbit should be appearing like this but the 4s orbit should be appearing like this right 4s so similar thing in the case of cu also this empty electron right this this will not stay in this location what it will do is it will jump to this position right and it will become like this right so this electron will be jumping here and will become like this so there won't be any electron here right so there also we will not write it as 4s2 3d9 we will not write like this but we will write like 4s1 3d 10 right so this way we will write so this is fully filled state so why is that is these electrons due to the uh, stage of full right fill stage if it is like completely filled then we don't have to talk anything about valency right so if it is completely filled then we don't have to talk about valency which means there is no energy discussion here, right? There is energy, but we are not going to discuss about it because it is not going to share or it is not going to uh, go away with and couple with another electron. That's nothing is going to happen. So for that reason only, this electron will jump up here, which means this is completely filled, right? So we are not going to discuss anything about this valence shell now, right? So only this would be now in discussion. Why? Because 3D is now 10, right? So 3D is filled. 3S is filled, 3P is filled, 3D is filled. So there is no discussion about 3D now. Only 4S would be the deciding factor of the valence, right? So this is the reason why this 29 and 24 are special cases, right? So 25, it will, I mean, in the sense that will 
expect to achieve the half filled 3D5 stage. And this will expect to achieve the full filled 3D10 stage. Right? So this is the speciality with the 24th atomic number and 29th. So that was the growing chromium and copper, right? So only these two are the special cases while writing this electronic configuration. Sir. Oh yeah. Uh, first, we want to uh, fill the third 3D, sir. No, because according to energy, it will be keep on fixing, right? So in energy, 4S is ahead of 3D. So once you fill with 4S only, it will go to the 3D. Because you know, that, that's how our periodic table is also designed, right? So if you see, after K, potassium and calcium, right? K is 19. Calcium is 20, right? Then only we will go for the D block elements, right? D block elements. We call that as D block elements. There are three rows, each consists of 10 elements, right? So there are totally 30. So we call them as three D, uh, D block elements or transition elements. So after calcium only, they will come. So once you fill with 4S2 only, we will be talking anything about D, 